جايين ونازلين بالفندق ولا نازلين بيرير مكان؟ يوم الوفاة يجون قبلها يوم لا أنا أقول نازلين بالفندق Up on the rooftop of the Palestine Hotel in downtown Baghdad, NBC's Richard Engel talked with a security officer from the hotel about the early days of the war there. On April 8, 2003, in the throes of the initial invasion, the U.S. military opened fire on the Palestine Hotel, which was already at the time well known for housing journalists. ITV's Neil Connery was there for the tank attack on the de facto home of foreign journalists, the Palestine Hotel, and for the U.S. denials that the coalition was targeting reporters. The American tank on the left is about to fire a round into the Palestine Hotel used by the world's media, where we are filming these pictures. This is the hotel lobby moments later. 35-year-old Ukrainian cameraman Taras Protsyuk, who worked for the Reuters news agency, was killed. Three of his colleagues were injured. Spanish television cameraman Jose Cuzo was also killed. They were all on the 15th floor when the tank round struck. This is what their hotel room looked like afterwards. From outside, you could see where the tank round had hit our hotel. At a briefing, the U.S. military said one of their Abrams tanks fired on the Palestine after taking incoming sniper and rocket fire from the hotel. But none of the journalists here reported hearing or seeing such attacks launched from the hotel before the tank round struck. NBC's Richard Engel was one of those journalists who was at the Palestine Hotel the night the tank round hit. They had just fired a tank round the day before and killed several journalists in the, pack, in the Palestine Hotel. That? They say it was a mistake that they thought there were sniper fire coming from the hotel. There were no snipers in the hotel that yeah. were firing them. As, as far as I could tell, I was at the t in the hotel at the time. I didn't hear any, anything. You were in the hotel when the tank round hit? Yeah. What I was, was that like? It was terrible. Yeah. I and mean, pieces of concrete fell down and colleagues of mine were killed. Yeah. Um, and we, we brought their bodies out. Taras Pratsyuk's death was a very big deal. Um, hundreds of people attended his funeral in Kiev. The Ukrainian parliament observed a moment of silence in his honor. For years, people would picket the United States embassy in Kiev on the anniversary of his death here in Baghdad. And as the war dragged on into years two and three and four and five and six and seven, journalists continued to die here. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, more than 200 members of the media have been killed since the start of this war. Some of those deaths were accidents. Some of them were not. The physical scars from the attack on the Palestine Hotel are still here. They're still visible. Richard pointed them out to us while we've been here this week. Back up on the roof of the Palestine Hotel, seven years after the Ukrainian cameraman was killed by that American tank round, the hotel security manager told Richard that every year on the anniversary of his death, Taras Pratsyuk's family comes back to Baghdad, to the Palestine Hotel, to the room where Taras died.